Hi everyone, it's Laura Hammock from the Marble Drawer channel and in today's video I'm going to tell you about my military style solution to bowls and towels everywhere courtesy of my kids. Two years ago, I basically lost it. I do laundry once a week on Thursdays and this particular week I washed and folded, I kid you not, 21 towels, 18 bath towels and three beach towels. For a family of four, this was beyond ridiculous, particularly when I noted that my husband, my daughter, and I only had one towel piece. So that means that my son managed to use 15 bath towels in one week. Again, this just strains credulity since this is the kid who requires incessant nagging just to get in the shower once a day. Maybe he was using a different towel for each body part? Anyway, his problem is a combination of forgetfulness and laziness. After showering, he leaves his towel in his room, generally on the floor, although we do have hooks to hang them up in each kid's room. But the next time, he forgets to bring a towel with him to the shower, and the linen closet happens to be conveniently located right next to the bathroom door. So apparently, for every shower, he had just gotten into the habit of grabbing a new towel, or four. Well, I'd already noticed this problem and had been nagging him to reuse his towels when we had the 21 towel week. So that was the end of that. Here's what I did. Number one, I went to Home Depot and I bought an exterior doorknob. So that's the kind that has a lock that you open with a key. So then I changed the knob on the door, um, on the linen closet and I hid the key. So now we have a locked linen closet. My husband, and my daughter both know the hiding place for the key, but guess who doesn't? I actually got a little panicky at one point when the key went missing and I was seriously contemplating having to break the door down with an ax, <laughs> but thankfully it turned up before I did any real damage. Number two, I went through the towels that we already had and I picked colors for the kids. And then I set out two bath towels, one hand towel, and two face towels for each kid in each color. Number three, while I was at it, I decided to address another pet peeve that I have. I really can't be the only parent who is driven absolutely nuts by bowls and cups left around the house, can I? My son has a serious cereal addiction and he leaves his cereal bowls welded by dried milk to whatever surface he's left them on all over the house. For him, there isn't any pain associated with this since when he wants another bowl of cereal, there was always another clean bowl available. Well, no more. I was sick and tired of nagging him to clean up his bowls and his cup. So I went to Target and I bought a bowl and a mug and a plate in two different patterns, one set for each kid. I stopped short of locking up the kitchen cabinets since that would be, for me, inconvenient and an extreme and people might actually think that I'd gone round the bend. Number four. I also invested in an easy to use wand style dishwashing brush that self dispenses detergent. I wanted to make cleaning up as simple as possible. Then I sat my kids down. First, I issued them their new towel sets. I told them that these were their new towels and that they couldn't use any others. I offered to continue to wash towels on Thursdays, but they would have to hang them up to prevent them from getting stinky throughout the week. Next, I gave them their new place settings. The rule was if they were eating dinner with a family or eating at all with a family, like during dinner, they could eat off of the family plates. But any other time, snacks, breakfast, etc., they needed to use their individually issued bowl, plate, and cup. After each use, they would need to wash it out and set it out to dry. If they forgot, then the next time they needed to use it, they would have to find it wash it and I warned them that it would be much harder after the food had been sitting for a while and then dry it out before they could use it again. If I caught them using the wrong bowl, there would be a penalty. They would have to run down to the end of the street and back, which is on this annoyingly steep hill. So this is a little bit of a crazy solution to a little bit of a crazy problem. The towels have actually been an unmitigated success. It's enforced by a lock on the linen closet after all. The plates and the bowls are a bit spottier it really just depends on whether I'm on top of enforcing the rules. We've recently gone back to the system after a little break and somehow having the different plates and bowls does help them to remember to clean up after themselves. I'd love to hear your ideas on this 
or any other solutions. Leave your experiences and thoughts in the comments section, and thanks for watching.